Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Yeah, welcome to Ramadan 2022. I'm excited. Yeah, welcome to the first vlog of the Ramadan series. Yes, I am going to be vlogging this Ramadan. I am excited about it. I am going to be doing weekly vlog just like I did last year, which was easier for me. I cannot do daily vlogs. Like I don't even know how people do daily vlogs or what they do during their days. But yeah, today is the first day. Today is Saturday, 2nd of April. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. If you watched my previous vlog, you would know that I came home for fasting because I cannot come and kill myself. I just wanted to come back home and yeah be with my mom and my dad is coming probably tomorrow or next tomorrow i'm not sure yet he shall come in here so it's me my mom my dad and my cousin ibrahim so we're having jollof rice today for um iftar i'm not the one cooking today and i haven't done my time to but i decided to make coleslaw so i'm going to make coleslaw and my mom bought me tofu because she knows how much i love tofu so oh well awara for those of you that are watching i don't know what awara is it is I think it's soybean. I don't know. Shall, it's tofu. That's the English name. But yeah, I love it so much. So I'm going to fry that. I'm going to boil it first and fry it. Then I'm going to make coleslaw, fry plantain. I'm just going to play some of my podcasts that I listen to during Ramadan. Even when it's not Ramadan, I listen to them. But yeah, let us listen to podcasts and cook. So I want you to think of yourself as a parent to your deeds. You produce them. You raise them, and you have all sorts of hopes for them. The only thing is, you don't see them yet. Now, just like a parent hopes that if they live long enough, their worldly children will comfort them and benefit them when they get older, we all hope that our hereafter children will comfort us and benefit us once we make that transition. The question is, how many deeds have you produced? How many deeds have you raised? And what's it going to be like to meet them for the very first time? Tara Karim, guys, it is time to eat. Did you go long time now? How am I feeling like this now? I don't know, because we're hungry. Sorry for the bad lighting, but yeah, so I had to stop recording because time, you know how when it's Ramadan, time just used to move like at warp speed. But this is what I'm having. It's, it, I know, it looks like a lot. Well, it's not really a lot. I have coleslaw, wara, plantain, and jello fries but yeah if tara kareem i hope we all like get the blessings of this month and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us to get to the end of the month and yeah just reap all the blessings i will see you guys maybe later hi guys good morning um today is sunday a new day day two of ramadan but anyhow, Sha, yesterday was, I don't know, I was just sad. You know how like something happens and then you don't think about it very well and then you think about it again and then it hits you. I was just thinking about this Abuja Kaduna train attack and how literally like I pass myself and a lot of other people like pass that route almost every other day and it could easily have been you on that train. Like, I literally came from abuja to kaduna sorry from yeah from kaduna to abuja earlier that day with the two o'clock train that same day that the attack happened it literally could be anybody honestly and it's so sad i can't even imagine like people that were on the train and survived like were not shot or injured or anything like i can't even imagine the amount of trauma that they would have eventually you're going to have to travel you're going to have to go that route when the train is fixed or whatever because the road is even even if it's by road i can't even imagine the amount of trauma you would have that's why you see so many people just angry irritated and scared on the road and you just think ah oh, this person is mad but they're actually not mad it's just nigeria that is making them mad So guys, I know you're tired of seeing me looking like this. I'm going to go have my bath now, but I found the juice extractor. Um, I want to open it and see. Like my mom is used to keeping. I used to tell her that she's always keeping chakachi, like keeping junk. But the benefit, the benefit of her keeping of chakachi is that she used to keep everything intact. So I am hoping. I know that's what I'm hoping. I know that this juice is extractor. Even though I've not used it in years. It's most likely going to be intact. I have to wash it, but this is what it looks like. 
So I'm guessing it is going to squeeze the top into here and then adjust into here. Yeah, that will be So I just had my bath and I'm about to start cooking. It's currently maybe almost 3 p.m. I was going to make yam porridge today, but we don't have some of the ingredients. And my mom was like, I should just do something else and I can write down a list of things I need. I'll go to the market or I'll also go to the supermarket to get what we need. So now I am going to just make yam and egg. I call it doya or in this house we call it doya me hijabi. Some people call it yamarita. I don't know what that is, but it's doya me hijabi. And the English transliteration is doya with hijab. And that's what it, that's the right name for me. When I'm wearing my mom's nightwear, I'm always like I honestly don't come with clothes to overwash her. I just came with like myself. I was like I'm going to wear my mom's wardrobe because I'm not going anywhere, so there's no point coming with clothes because I intend to pack a lot of food items <laughs> when I'm going back home, so I wanted my box to be specifically empty. But at this point i was trying to figure out how to assemble the machine and at a point i just got tired i was just like you know what let me just use it like that especially this tiny part watch and see how important it became at, at a point but yeah it was at this point i knew i messed up morning um so it's currently like 11 30 i just finished cleaning my mom and my cousin went out i was the only one at home i've just been listening to podcasts which i played for you guys to see i'm currently doing a face mask because my face is in need of some serious extraction my pores are clogged i don't really get pore, um, clogged pores like often because like my pores are pretty tight but I can already I can tell that they are clogged and I don't have any like chemical exfoliant which is what I usually use. I used to use the glycolic acid. I haven't ha it finished a while back and I just haven't purchased a new this thing. And then I went to my sister's house and I stole this this um body shop tea tree three in one mask. So yeah, I used to use this before. I actually introduced her to it. I should try using it, but ever since I came back to Nigeria, honestly. Body shop products that are not supposed to be expensive are just expensive in Nigeria. Everything is expensive in Nigeria. I don't know what everything is expensive in Nigeria. But anyhow, she actually had this. I stole it from her house. Um, went to let it sit for like five minutes before I go and have my bath. 
I was supposed to go to the hospital with my mom guys so if my mom watches this video she's going to be like ah why are you saying this me personally obviously i don't think it's a thing but you know how african mothers can be sometimes although my mom tries to be like liberal and tries to be fine she still has that african nigerian mother mentality sometimes so basically i was supposed to go to the hospital and i think i've mentioned it actually in my previous vlog before um i have pcos so if you don't know what that is google it i don't have energy well i don't know what is it shy polycystic ovarian syndrome is that what you call it i don't know but basically i have pcos and i usually like miss my period a few times like i'll go maybe two three months or so but and it happens off and on so i remember when i was in uk i saw like the doctor and then they were like oh i could go on birth control pills to kind of like regulate the hormones and also like regulate the period and i was just like nah it's not that serious like why would i and then because they brought in somebody that was telling me like all the side effects of going on the pill i was just like yeah mm -mm. i don't even like seeing the period like that shine, so it's not that deep i left it but then um i think the last time when we're currently in april and the last time i saw my period now was in december so i haven't seen my period january february march and my mom is already like ha ah, you need to go to the hospital you need to go to the hospital everybody even my even aisha aisha is like oh, go to the hospital go to the hospital and i'm just like ah okay i'll go but shy we're supposed to go to the hospital today because i i am putting off going so my mom literally wants to drag me and take me there herself but we, she was a bit busy so i don't think we're going today again maybe we're still going to go i'm not sure if we go i'll let you guys know we might be going tomorrow and i'm also supposed to be doing like a scan because the last time i went to the hospital i did like a scan and they said i had some like cysts or something shy. and then it also was like i should like do scans maximum every six months just to make sure like it's not growing and if it grows like you can tackle it ahead of time and the last time i did that scan was before my sister's wedding which was like last year maybe july it's definitely been more than six months so i need to do that but yeah um after that i'm going to go and bring out meat from the freezer so i can get ready to start cooking i'll show you guys what i'm cooking when it's time and if you haven't watched my previous vlog go and check it out hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you are enjoying this vlog so far and if you are not tell me what you're not enjoying about it in the comment section so i can do better so you can enjoy it and yeah bell notification so you know when i post a video and catch me follow me on my social media although i'm not active on there for now i usually like take off like um instagram for my phone during ramadan for the most part because uh, it doesn't serve me like even like when it's not ramadan for the most part i know i like mindlessly go through instagram so i was just like i don't need to mindlessly scroll through unnecessary content during ramadan so i usually like go off of instagram but yeah you can still follow me on there <laughs> guys so mom she stops to buy fish and i thought I'd, i'm trying to like read i thought cardinal sun was bad but this heat is literally burning my soul i feel like i was like placed right underneath the sun since i very fast i was like oh my gosh, i haven't left the house well i left the house i went to my mom's farm but like that was just like straight and out but I haven't like gone to run errands. I am dying. My head is pounding. But yeah, um, we are actually buying stuff that we need. See her boots. I don't know what boots actually. We are actually buying stuff that we need for food. <laughs> 